Many sisters and brothers complain that his wife, her husband, uh, obstructing them from coming to see me, uh, to going to group meditation and all that. Uh, do not complain. Because of that, you're more determined. Truly, these sisters and brothers are more determined than many of you who have it easy. Ask them. You see, the sister yesterday, the Chinese sister, she even sit in one in for three hours and uh, Sunday the whole day, three hours every day, one in only, and the rest, of course, double, ne? <laughs> one, one, six hours. She's determined to get rid of all the, the distraction. And then, well, her husband used to uh, obstruct her and, you know, do all kind of things to hinder her, but then the inner master told her that she should do that, 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 and she did. Three hours, one in, six hours, one, one, every day, all night, don't sleep. <laughs> and Sunday the whole day, whole night, right? And then her husband just could not bear, and then he went, got another wife. <laughs> <laughs> she was so happy. <laughs> she called and congratulated him, and I thanked the woman, thanked the woman who took away her, her husband. <laughs> that was last night with the Vietnamese uh, group meditation. I'm not telling you to leave your husband or your wife, okay? It's not that. But what I mean is, even obstacle could be a boost to your determination, yeah, to get what you want. Hey, baby, come inside. It's too hot. Or you sit uh, with the face not not facing the sun, and now and again you look out to see if anything. If not, okay, I don't want you to get burned because you are skin. You know why people very sensitive, hey? Eh? The, the Asian and the chocolate may be okay, but, <laughs> but don't put the real chocolate in the sun, huh? I got some chocolate. How much chocolate we have? A lot or a little? Oh, we talk a lot. Yes, next one, brother, sister. Sister of my brother. Quería yeah. comentarle que aquí en Málaga, alrededor de en 10 kilos, 10 minutos alrededor, hay otro centro religioso en, como la Ciencia del Alma. She wants you know that near to the center there are like three center more, but like a Buddhist center. Yes, yes, I heard that. Sí. Meditation or whatever, you know, like uh, ashram, a three more ashram nearby, five minutes something. Yes. Yeah. So what what is? La ciencia del alma, el centro budista, Hare Krishna, y y otro método similar. Del mismo linaje, pero ¿cómo se llama el maestro? De Kurin Singh. Another, uh, there uh -huh. are another center with the same team. Okay, so. Hace años y no hay ningún problema. And you say okay. that you want to know that there is any problem about that? No, no, there's no problem because they are legal. <laughs> they have permit. They've been there longer already. No, just they want you know that. Sorry? Who wants to know? They have permit. Yes, yes. Yeah, they've been there longer. And ago. this center has a permit to, too. This one has now? Yes. For the association? Yes. No, they told me they didn't have it. They just applied. They say that from the interior ministry. Now let me have a look. So I Where is the paper? Where is the paper? No, she said that here is preparing the, all the documents to be legal, but in Madrid it's ready. Uh, he, uh, my sister, he said that the paper we have to the association in Madrid is, is valid to all Spain. Really? Yes. Are you sure about that? Okay. Yes. Okay, then if you if somebody asks you have to say this is for Madrid. Sorry? Huh? So if you can say this is for Madrid center? Yes. It's possible? Yes. Yes, you say yes. Yeah, but this uh, the permit is for all Spain. Yeah, I know, but this land has not been converted into the use of the association. It's privately owned, right? That's the thing. Uh, Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's private. Yes. 
Yes. So we have to apply so that that land, this land, become like a, to be used by the association. Then this is okay. Okay, one second. Spanish, they talk a lot. <laughs> she wants that you know that the government is happy that we create this kind of centers. The who? The government. They are? Yes. Which one? The local one? The or the, the Madrid? Malaga. Malaga, good. But do we have the yeah, paper? She's preparing the papers. Good, good. Because they know that this is good for all people. Understand, but did they prove that they are happy? <laughs> <laughs> okay. She's preparing. Yeah. Did she uh, give it to the government yet and waiting, or she is still preparing and not giving? Preparing. <laughs> they told me that they are applying. Yes. Applying and preparing yes. is different. Um, Applying means the government already have no, it in their hand and we are waiting for the answer. Okay, one second. Preparing means you're doing it at home and waiting maybe next year I give it. <laughs> one person at a time. Tell it clearly. It's preparing. Yeah, I know. But it's almost ready to apply. Trust you guys. <laughs> Yeah, I run into a lot of trouble because I trust my disciples, disabled. Yeah, they tell me, they tell me, just a little Master. different. What's the difference? What's the difference? It's in my hand or in the government hand. What's the difference? It's all in the hands. <laughs> all hands are the same. We are all one. You tell that to the police. Huh? <laughs> Excuse me. You preach it to the police. Yeah. I have a question. Uh, About that? No. Okay. No. I have a question. About meditation, I understood when I was initiated that the concentration in the light is here. Mm. But yesterday you told from inside and look out through here. But how I make my concentration first here and after that? Like like you are looking from in here outside. That's it. Okay. Ah, Just okay. like you're looking from these eyes. Okay. Suppose there is a um, magnifying glass. Okay. It's right here. Yes. You want to read something here, okay? Ah, okay? But you look from your eyes through that uh -huh. magnifying glass out. Uh -huh. You don't look from your here, or you. How can you bring your eyes to the magnifying glass? You can also do that. <laughs> okay. okay. But in this case, you can't. Yeah. So it's like your eyes in here, and this the magnifying glass here. You look through. Okay. Capish? Okay. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter when you concentrate. Well, it's just automatic. And the sound is the same? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks. If you concentrate well, you just go up. You don't even know where the magnifying glass is anymore. <laughs> you don't even look. It just appears automatically. Okay, sometimes I'm worried because when I start the meditation, I lose my concentration and I don't know if I live. Yeah. I need to come back. Understand? No, 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 no. Please don't come back. <laughs> Don't come back. You've gone up. Don't go back again and start again. No. Uh, it's just to leave. Yeah, just go. Enjoy. Yeah? Uh, so how can okay, I... look. The pilot has to look at the runway when he's driving, still on the ground. But when he already took off, please don't come back to the runway and look again. Am I, <laughs> Am I on the right way or not? Will you do that? No. You just take off and fly, okay? Once you feel that you're already out, yeah? You feel comfortable, uh, beautiful, or you're out of the body, you can even see your body, or you see the star, the moon, or don't, please, don't come back to here. This is the portal for you to go out. Understand me, the door. Open it, and then go out. Don't come back and say, did I open the right door? <laughs> am, I, am, I, am I at the right door now? You know what I mean? Don't come back and do that. Uh, but when you go out sometimes, it's difficult for me to know the difference between when I was dreaming or I was in meditation. Because with both of them, I feel so 
peaceful? Yes, then it's okay. No need to stay there and argue, is it a dream or not a dream. No worries. Don't argue, just enjoy. And Thank the you. next stage will come higher, okay? Thank you, Master. Just enjoy. If you already feel peaceful and, and, and light or very, very comfortable, that means you're in Samadhi already, no matter where, okay? And just stay there and then you will go higher, or maybe not, but just stay there, okay? Don't try to go back to the door again and open again. See, it's, it's say, yeah, yeah, number 15. That's the right door, okay? I stay here. <laughs> I stay here. Kapisha? Yes. Yeah, very difficult, eh? My God, such a simple thing, you don't understand. How do you understand anything else? Hmm. The five names are just to protect you during the journey. Understand? Protect you during the journey. Uh, when you feel very threatened or something, yeah? When you feel afraid or something, the five names help you, yeah? If, if you are in Samadhi, sometimes comfortable, you don't have to repeat the five names all the time. You can repeat it every five minutes, every ten minutes, okay? If you remember, all right? Or to see you. Huh? <laughs> or to see you. Because sometimes when I can't see anything, just... Mm. I, sometimes I feel afraid and I say, I don't know if I'm in the good good way or not, mm -hmm. because I don't feel nothing, just mm -hmm. I remember your face and I put in my mind. Okay, also fine. Okay. Only when you need. Yeah, okay. otherwise just enjoy, enjoy the journey. Huh? Don't keep calling the guy all the time. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> keep calling the guy, you know? The guy put you out there to enjoy, so you keep calling him all the time, yeah? <laughs> That's good. Oh dear. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yes. It's a couple of, one or two spiritual jokes. What is it? Some jokes. Jokes? Spiritual <laughs> jokes. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, it's bad. It's very funny. <laughs> yeah, of course I understand, but I don't, I don't feel it's funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, spiritual joke is hardly funny, ever. Most of the Buddha is very serious, that's the problem. Okay, maybe this one's not too bad. Oh, this I know. <laughs> okay. I don't know if it's, you find it funny. There's only one, one or two. <laughs> the, the, the horse already laughing. <laughs> Okay, here is it. An aspiring yogi wanted to find a guru. He went to an ashram and his preceptor told him, You can stay here, but we have one important rule. All the students observe Muna, or vow of silence. You will be allowed to speak in twelve years. Okay. After practicing twelve years, this sounds similar, sounds familiar. After practicing for twelve long years, uh, a yoga asanas and meditation and a lot of karma yoga, etc., the day came when the student could say his one thing or ask his one question. So he said, the bed is too hard. The bed, too hard for my back. Okay. All right, so he kept going for another twelve years of hard sadhana, I mean hard practice, yeah, hard meditation, and austere discipline. And after another twelve years, he got the opportunity to speak again, one sentence, one question. So he said, the food is not good. <laughs> It's so familiar. <laughs> I have heard it somewhere <laughs> around here before. And then after another twelve years of hard work, and he finally got 
to speak again. Here are his words after 36 years of practice. That's it, I quit. <laughs> Yo, terminado. <laughs> so his guru said, Good, good. Because ever since you got here, all you did is just complaining, complaining. <laughs> Not too bad. Hey, guy, don't drink this. I don't um, like uh, outside. It's, it's for the fly only. Thing for anti fly. And one more, maybe you find it funny. <laughs> Four monks were meditating in a monastery, in a Zen monastery, you know that. All of a sudden, the prayer flag outside, you know, on the roof, started flapping. So the younger monk came out of his meditation and said, flag is flapping. A more experienced monk said, no, wind is flapping. And the third monk, who had been there for more than 20 years, said, No, mine is flapping. And the fourth monk, who was the eldest, said, Very annoyed, you know, he said, Mouths are flapping. <laughs> <laughs> talk, talk, talk. Yeah, yeah. You understand, right? Yes. That's what they do sometimes. So who are you, the fourth or the fifth monk? Huh? This is a kind of level of practice, you see? The first monk, young, and said, flag is flapping. He was supposed to meditate, he shouldn't even see the flag. And then because the, the, the guy hear that, he shouldn't even hear. He said, the wind is flapping. And the third monk said, mine is flapping. He shouldn't even think, I shouldn't even bother about these two people talking. So the fourth monk, very annoyed, he said, Mouths <laughs> are flapping. Flap, flap, flap. <laughs> All four of them are no good. <laughs> are no correctors. Todo correcto, but no correcto. Yeah? Everyone is correct, but not correct. You see? He's all talking, thinking, watching. Yeah? Hearing, or hearing the outside, seeing the outside, yeah? Not in Samadhi. That's what it means. All four of them are no good. They don't say the fifth, because the fifth doesn't say anything. anything. That's why they don't say it here. <laughs> so be the fifth monk, yeah? The invisible monk, the no flapping monk. <laughs> it's not like you have to be in a monastery or follow me to be a monk. Do you understand me? That's why I don't wear monk's robe anymore, so that you know it, is, it doesn't hang in the robe or where you stay, yeah? And we don't even have to stay in an ashram all together and dig in potatoes and uh, clean in the flagpole together in order to prove that uh, we are in harmony. You understand? 